Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're talking about moonology. We are talking about our full moon energy in the sign of Aries. Let's talk about Aries energy, and then we're going to talk about our full moon energy, and then I'm going to pull a couple of angel cards to give us a little bit deeper insight into this. So Aries energy is all about what do you have the courage to draw into you? What do you have the courage to draw into you that you're ready to step into? Um, I will tell you that Aries energy kind of goes behind the scenes and uh, really works in all different areas. So this is a great time to promote a business or um, write a business plan, things that are kind of done kind of by yourself and then going to be shown out to the world. This is a really great time to also amplify your show, social media aspects. So is that Instagram or Facebook or your website or whatever it is, however you're getting those words out about your business or your company or what you're doing, this is the time to do it. This is the time to kind of work on those and then bring that out into the world, almost like you're birthing it into the world. Now let's talk a little bit about our full moon energy. Full moon energy is all about manifestation. So that's why I said this is a really great time to push things that you're really wanting to add um, power to. Um, our full moon is completely full of power, but it also may bring up things that are blocking you and things that you may have to go through and release. Um, thinking about ideas or other things that can get in that way. Make sure that you are pushing this energy of what you want to bring in. And if there's something that's stopping you um, or keeping you from it, make sure you're looking at that really respectfully. And where did that idea come in at? Where is that idea holding you back from? Because that's an idea that you may need to rethink about and bring in again or at a different time um, so it can amplify the energy. This is also kind of a great time to um, really do some inner work about um, manifestation or anything that's keeping you away from what you want to manifest in your life. So let's pull a couple of angel cards and let's get us a little bit deeper insight in here. Meditation. Meditation is one of those things that so many people would love to do better. So one of the things that's really important about meditation is getting alone by yourself and deciding how you want to do this or how you want to bring in this energy and then settle with yourself. Kind of where do I want to amplify this energy? Where do I want to bring in more of my creator energy into what I'm doing. And this is a great time of the month to do this, kind of taking a little bit of time to yourself and kind of doing your manifestation um, meditations and kind of getting what you want next, where do you want to go next? Where does this lead you in what you want to do next in your world? This one is literally popping out. This is about nature. Full moons are all about getting out into nature. And one of the great things is, is to go for a walk, maybe late at night or when the moon is full, walk around your neighborhood and kind of seeing things through different eyes. And this energy of this full moon and getting out in nature can really manifest in some amazing different ways for you. Let's pull one last card here. Freedom. Our full moon is about freedom and delving into what do we want to bring into us. When we are manifesting what we want, we feel like we're completely free and we can fly and do anything that we absolutely want to do. So what is it that you would like to draw into? What is it that you would like to bring in? What is it that you want to amplify this time in this moon cycle? What is it that you are ready to bring into yourself and amplify this energy? I thank you so much for joining me today and I know that we'll be talking again soon.